I'm at the Jinsha Site Museum in Sichuan Province in China. If people know anything about Chinese history, they probably know the standard dynasties from the Shang and the Zhou, the Qin, the Han, Tang, the Ming, the big ones. And that's definitely the most common way of teaching and learning Chinese history, but it's not the only one. There were lots of other civilizations and cultures all living in what today we call China. In Sichuan province, for example, there was the Shu Kingdom. And behind me is one of these Shu settlements. Now the Shu would eventually come to, the, come to an end when it's conquered by the state of Qin, which will become the Qin Dynasty in Chinese history. How it began is a little bit more mysterious, but it's a fascinating culture. They had bronze and jade and gold making skills. They lived in pretty nice villages, and they traded extensively with the Shang and Zhou peoples of uh, the central plains of China. So definitely a fascinating and underknown moment and place in Chinese history.